Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to prepare a video on OTBI reports using two subject areas. So previously I had uploaded many videos on the OTBI but all the reports are containing the single subject area, one subject area. So in this video I am going to tell you how to use the two subject area in the OTBI report. For that I have to go to my Fusion instance first. So this is the catalog page of my Oracle Fusion instance. So we have to create the new analysis. OTB is nothing but the analysis. So I am clicking on this new and here is the analysis. Okay. So the first subject area which I am going to select that is payable invoice transaction real time. So this is my payable invoice transaction real time. I am just clicking on this subject area. So this page will get open. So you can see over here there is my subject area payables invoice transaction real time okay so then i'm expanding this subject area and i will select some of the column from this subject area so it is for the invoice so i'm going to select some invoice details so i'm expanding this invoice detail then here is the general information and from this we will take some of the columns so first column i'm taking that is an invoice date second column we will take invoice number okay so this two column from the invoice then we will take some other columns suppose invoice amount we will take so here is an invoice amount paid that's it so we are taking just three columns from this subject area okay now what i have to do i have to select some other subject area okay so this is my subject area payable invoice transaction real time now i want the second subject area which is having the supplier details okay so i will click on this arrow button show more button and here is the option add remove subject areas i will just click on this so you can see over here by default the first subject area is selected you can't unselect this subject area okay so now second i am selecting supplier supplier real time okay i am just checking this checkbox and i am just clicking on okay so you can see over here now there are two subject area i am expanding this supplier and uh, we will add some supplier related columns for it so here is our supplier profile from this i will select some columns supplier number and supplier name okay so this two column from this supplier and we will take one more column that is supplier type so there are total six columns first three columns from the payable invoice transaction real time subject area and the next three columns are from the supplier real time subject area okay now I am just clicking on the result tab. So it will take some time. So you can see that we are having the invoice date, invoice number, invoice amount from the first subject area and the supplier number, supplier name and the supplier type from the second subject area. Okay. So here we are fetching the columns from the two different subject areas. Okay. So this is the first way of doing this. Okay. So the second way is also there. Okay. So here is the advanced tab. Okay, I'm just clicking on this advanced tab. Here is an analysis XML. Okay, so this is automatically generated when you drag the column, the SQL issue. This also get automatically generated. Okay, so now what we have, we can do. So here is some SQL fields. I'm just copying all this complete code and I'm pasting on one notepad. Okay, so this code it had been used for creating our analysis report okay so if what we have to do suppose i want to add some another subject areas and which is not possible for you to drag and drop so what you can do you can write that particular first select statement and then after you can write can select statement and you can perform the subquery operation on it and you can fetch the data so i am having one small example with me so this is my example okay so in first what i am doing i am fetching the data from marketing crm lead and opportunity real time subject area and the second i am fetching from sell crm opportunities and product real time subject area okay so what i did i am selecting this particular columns from this subject area i had given the alias name for it and from this query i am fetching some of this column and i had given the alias for this 
and finally i am making the join of both of this sub queries and here i am fetching all the columns which i am getting from here that is s1 s2 s3 and the s4 and similarly we are also getting s1 and s2 from this subject area okay so what i have to do i have to just copy this query it here okay so i can't put i can't edit this query for that i have to click on new analysis okay so it will prompt us one query prompt here i can paste that particular query and i can click on okay so it will generate the analysis for us so here i had clicked on the result section also but i was not able to get the data because that particular sales order or sales role is not assigned to my user okay if that particular role is assigned to your user you can able to fetch the data also okay so here i am just getting the list of columns i am not getting the data okay so by this way you can use the two different subject area in a single otbi report